So today we're building a new antenna around the ceiling. So right now we got our insulator up there and we got some monofilament going to all the hooks around the ceiling. Now we're going to take this fine wire from a shaded pole motor out of an old junk fan and we're going to unwind it and we're going to put it the whole way around the ceiling. We got our wire going around the ceiling. Since these are 10 foot long segments for each side of the room, and I just did 10 turns, that's 400 feet of wire. So we have 400 feet of wire going around the ceiling. First thing, we got this end right here. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna tie the end to the insulator. Somehow undo that wire right there. The wire coming into both ends of the insulator. You got the one coming in from this side and the one coming in from this side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully take this wrap it around everything. We're gonna take this one, wrap it around this and everything, and then we're gonna take this one, wrap around this and everything over there. All right, we took an old coax RCA cable, and we stripped the end like that. There you can see the shield, and there you can see the center copper conductor. What we did was we took this end of the antenna, we stuck it on the center copper conductor, and then we took this end of the antenna, we stuck it on the capacitor there. That's a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And then we took the other end of the capacitor and connected it to ground, the shield, like that. I left all the slack in the wire that I could because this is an experiment. I'm planning on changing that many times, so I need a lot of extra slack. So there's how that is. Now we're going to take a soldering iron and just put a drop of solder on each of those three connections. Our antenna connected up like that. And we're going to come down here and stick this 9 volt battery on my 386 audio amplifier and speaker and see what it does. A lot of nice noises in there. We got our ground connection that goes to all the pipes and the electrical system of the house. Coming up here to a grounding block like that. We have that RCA cable coming down. We have this RCA cable coming down to this RCA cable. And it goes to my amplifier. So let's plug it in and see what it sounds like this time. It sounds a lot better. That's a lot sharper. And I hear AM in there. Well, like I said, we don't want to just listen to the radio. We want to turn that into energy. We want to do this. RF to DC converter. You got your ground connected like that. There's your grounding block. And there's my DC output from the radio signal. RF to DC converter is all hooked up and grounded. There you can see it. There's my connection for the output. It comes on here and goes to this capacitor. 100,000 microfarad, 10 volt. So let's come down here and see what this capacitor is doing. 1.89 volts DC. That's how you build a really cheap antenna for your free energy experiments. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember, always be creative. Now what we need to do is take this capacitor and somehow hook it up to the LED with the sensor so the LED only comes on when the room is dark. So that way when the room isn't dark, the LED is sitting on there and the capacitor is charging. Well, I tell you, having that giant antenna up there next to my AM and my FM antenna is really making my radio stations come in clear. 